Wanted to see us, sir? Not really, but it's the only way I can talk to you. What's this about, Colonel? Glad you asked. I'm a very busy man, so I'll make this short and sweet. Lieutenant Harris dropped by earlier, had a little surprise for me. A request for an immediate transfer. Oh, dear. Naturally, I assumed she wanted out because she couldn't take a bath, but that wasn't the reason. So I said, what is the reason? And she said, I made a damn fool of myself, and the whole camp knows it. So I said, well, I don't know it. And she said, I'm surprised Pierce didn't tell you. What? So I said, why are you dropping this in my lap? You should be talking to your head nurse. And she said, the head nurse hates me. I do not hate her. So I said, back up a bit. What is it you did that's got everybody's tongue wagging except mine? She said, I had an unhappy love affair. So I said, was it one of my doctors? And she said, no, it was your priest. Colonel, you must understand, she's very upset. That's what she said. She was so upset, she's giving up on med school. I didn't even know she was going to med school. She mustn't give up. Now, look, folks, this is none of my affair, so why don't we keep it that way? The woman has only got a few weeks left in this man's army. A transfer would be a waste of good red tape. So here's what you're going to do. You stop talking about her. You stop hating her. And you stop dating her. Yes, I was just saying, Chad, but I've got a water crisis waiting. Dismissed.